people that are asking you stuff. Yes, right. Okay, uh, I think what we want now and what the Egyptian people in Tahrir Square want first now, uh, number one, a guarantee that the, the people in Tahrir Square, when they go home, they're not going to be uh, arrested or kidnapped or anything. Number two, the kidnap, the people, the army or the military or the police, whoever kidnapped them, bring them back. 
Uh, number three, of course, that we we really want those people who uh, who will be judged to be judged sooner as soon as possible. Uh, the businessmen who would like um, uh, transfer their money to uh, to uh, foreign banks and travel, we want them back. We want that this money back because this is the money of the country they stole. Um, we uh, we want to see the change now. We want to see the the change in the rules of the of the country now. Not we we don't want any more promises because we we we've heard those promises before and we we no longer trust the uh, trust their words. So we we need action. We know that they're trying to change and and the change is for the good. But we want we want further guarantees. So if it's gonna if it's gonna stay. At least, just delegate all the responsibilities to the vice president Omar Suleiman, and just do nothing. We just, we just don't want any, any. We just don't want you in the picture anymore. Um, they have to do something to calm the people who saw their friends die and the family members die. They have to do something, but they're very slow. They're, they're not responding immediately, and and people are getting um, more and more angry, and they just can't forgive it anymore. Do you have any friends over there, or do you have any contact with people yeah, in Egypt? Yeah, I have my friends and families and uh, everything. Are you able to still stay kind of in contact? It's been sketchy or a little bit, yes? Uh, for the first few days, we lost all kinds of contact, but, but now they got back the internet and, uh, and the phone, so we're able to contact them, yes. What do you think about this uh, protest today? Pretty good? Um, I'd like to see more people, right? But still pretty good, right? Uh, well, yes, I, I see it pretty good. I, I don't care how many people people I just care that the message has been sent that our voices uh, get heard um, yes and I think that um, we all represent like the people who didn't come because we all want the same thing do you have any recommendations on where we can get some more information on Egypt uh, and what's going on there? Any websites you would recommend, maybe? Or I've been um, watching Al Jazeera a lot. Is that a good one? Or? Um, well, uh, yes, uh, Al Jazeera gets all, all, all the, all the real facts. But I think that uh, Al Jazeera gets people like more angry. It's, it's like biased against like uh, getting people angry. It's, it's, it's not calming them, them down. But I think like um, uh, their Egyptian. Egyptian channels, they're they're saying both sides. They they they're saying the side pro Mubarak and the side against Mubarak, and and they keep you you to judge to make your own judgment. So they're kind of calming people down, and that's the most important thing because people now don't trust one another. Don't they're they're afraid that the the. The, that that person standing next to him is whether he's like from the secret police or he's like a traitor or they're not trusting one another and what what's the most important thing now is like to bring us back together trusting in one another and calming them down now but Al Jazeera is not doing that and so do you have a website you could recommend to me um, or just off the wall something maybe it, you look at no or? Uh, what I do is like live streaming through the the channels the Egyptian channels you know it's the just Justin TV, Justin Justin dot TV J, J U S T I N. Justin TV. Dot, dot TV. Yes, this has like um, the Arabic, uh, the Arabic Egyptian channels live streaming, and you can choose what channel you want to see. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, okay. Well, um, thank you for thank everything you. and all the information. Okay, okay thank you very much. Appreciate it.
people, freedom of Egypt. Can you tell me just a little bit about what that means, a little bit, what we were okay. thinking? Do you mind if I film you? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This is cool. Good. Yeah, uh, we left Iraq because of Saddam. That's back 1991. We had a prison again. Him, as I mentioned, back to March 1991. So we support all the freedom in the Middle East. We support people in in Egypt, in Syria, in in Yemen, in everywhere. So uh, we consider that our duty to help our people just to get their freedom and their their way of life. So uh, we've been through tough condition with Saddam and we feel the same. I'm sure this brother in Egypt or in, in been through the same condition of bad of bad situation in Egypt. So we have to support them. Okay, now I understand better. You're saying you're from, you you left from some, when Saddam was there for some of the oppressive things that yeah, were going on. Yeah, because we've been fighting against Saddam. Uh -huh. We've been I'm from the south, from the Shia in the south. So we've been we've been fighting against Saddam, and that's why we left. And, and you can recognize now what's going on in Egypt. Of course, and, and whoever been cut by Saddam, being being executed. Uh, fortunately, we've been able to leave. So uh, we have we have the same feeling of our brother now in Egypt, back in Egypt, in in in, in Yemen, in Syria, in all the countries. So that's why I want to mention that we are supporting all the all the. Uh, Freedom cause in everywhere. How do you say uh, peace in Iraq? Salam. Salam. Yeah. Okay, salam. salam. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very yeah, much.